you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street. Bitches! Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Craig Davidson's The Saturday Night Ghost Club. This is a great cover. I am in love with the cover. It's the whole reason I wanted to read the book. Um, yes, I know Craig Davidson is Nick Cutter. Um, I am not a huge fan of Nick Cutter. I gave both The Troop and The Deep uh, three stars apiece, I believe. Um, and I couldn't even finish Little Heaven. Uh, Nick Cutter, Craig Davidson, Patrick Luzuwajewski, whatever his name is. Um, the dude really keeps his inspirations on his sleeves. Uh, his sleeve, whatever. Um, he, he has a borrowing problem, <laughs> I guess it would be. I, I have yet to read anything truly original from him. And this book, it, it's, it's no different. Um, it is a good book. Don't get me wrong. It is fantastically written. But there are so many references to other things. There's so many tributes, so many odes, so many thefts. Um, there's it, there's so much in here that is from other things. I I have yet to find anything that is Nick Cutter or Craig Davidson about any of his work. Now I'm giving this book here four stars. It's a very solid four star read, but. It has a lot of stuff from like Boy's Life, uh, Stand, not Stand by Me, um, Boy's Life, and Cycle of the Werewolf. Um, in fact, there's whole scenes taken from Cycle of the Werewolf, whole characters taken from Cycle of the Werewolf. Whether or not he intends this stuff or not, or he's just, it, you know, it, these things inspired him, or whatever it might be. I don't even know that some of these things are intentional. Um, but yeah, there, there's just so much other content from other books and none of it is truly his content. I, I've, I've yet to read a a book by him that I was like, okay, now this is this author. This is this author's voice. He just feels like everyone else. Um, Craig, the Craig Davidson voice is much more, I guess, literary. Um, it's it, it, There's much more to the Craig Davidson voice than there is the Nick Cutter voice. Uh, both of the styles are serviceable. They're good. Um, this story, I think what saved this story was the ending. Now, there there is something to be said about, you know, how early you see the possibility of what's going on, um, what is actually going on. I think it is phoned in a little early, or maybe that is the intention, because this isn't a horror novel. It's not a thriller. It's a, it's more of a, uh, commercial kind of literary uh, it's, it's not really a genre piece is what I'm getting at so it's not like you're here solely for the twist um, I did have a lot of fun with this book but one of the one of the major criticisms I have of this book is a criticism I have for all of his books so far is I don't really care that much about his characters I, I like I love the stories the stories are great um, the scenes Every, everything he does is well done. But he kind of falls into that Ronald Malfi uh, area where I don't feel that it, there's nothing new here. He's just repurposing things and putting things together to create his own stuff. And I, that's fine. I do look for a little bit more in my fiction. So if that kind of thing doesn't bother you, I'm sure you will love this book. Uh, there are plenty of people who love this book. Uh, and I liked it all right. Like I said, I'm giving it four stars. I didn't. I definitely didn't hate it. At least I was able to finish it, unlike uh, Little Heaven. But uh, the writing's fine. The only character I really got a good feeling for was Uncle C or Calvin, whatever you want to call him. I I got more of a feeling for him, but oddly enough, I got more of a feeling for for him because he reminded me so much of the uncle in Cycle of the Werewolf. So I even pictured uh, Gary Busey as the, as Calvin the whole time I was reading the book, which is funny. Um, but it, it's one of those things where I don't remember the main character's name. I do remember Billy and Dove Yellowbird, but that's because their last name was so so interesting to me. Um, but as far as everybody else, I can't really remember anybody else. Uh, it, it's the same type of, uh, of group friendship kind of deal. You have... You know, mostly boys, and then you have the the quirky gal pal, uh, and it, 
it's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's just some more of the same old stuff. Um, and while, while that can be good and that can be fun, nostalgia, you know, ooh, I remember that. I remember that. I need a little bit more. Um, but I did like this one more than I liked The Troop, more than I liked The Deep, and of course more than I liked Little Heaven. Um, I have yet to read anything else by the Craig Davidson name, anything else he's published under the Craig Davidson name, so I want to try Cataract City, um, but it's another one of those things, like I said, with Ronald Malfi, is it, they wear their inspirations on their sleeves, and I have to be in the proper mindset to read these. Uh, luckily, I read this with my friend Jessica, um, who does the uh, Hopelessly Devoted... Uh, blog, I believe it. I believe it is, but I'll leave a link to her stuff down there in the doobly doo. I'm sure she'll do her own review. I think she liked it much, much more than I did. Um, but I did have fun with it, and I know this is a this is more of a negative review. Um, but I'm but it that's that's what stood out for me. Um, and I if you want to know when I caught on to this, it was just before they got to the house on the hill. That was right about the time when I realized where where this was headed. Um, and then by the time they left the house on the hill, I knew, you know, where it was going. But uh, did, have you read the Saturday Night Ghost Club? Uh, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, let me know if you loved it. Let me know what you loved about it. If you hated it, let me know what you hated about it. If you were meh, let, let me know why. All that good stuff down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!